Hi there. So I want to do an eyeshadow look using products that are not marketed as eyeshadow. Makeup is quite versatile. You can definitely use, let's say, a lipstick as a blusher. You can use a highlighter as an eyeshadow. You can put highlighter on your lips. You can do lots, lots and lots of different things with makeup. Um, I will say that there are some laws in place about what is considered eye safe and lip safe. I will try to put a link below if you're interested in reading up about that. I know that in the US, there are slightly stricter laws when it comes to what can be labeled as eye safe. If it stains the area, it's not, it might not be considered eye safe. Um, yeah, so that's when makeup companies kind of instead of labeling it an eyeshadow palette, they label it a, um, a face palette or something like this just to get around um, the, the laws about what is eye and lip safe. However, usually when they market it, they market it as an eyeshadow palette um, in their campaigns and things like that. But anyway, so I am going to be using some blushes and some highlighters I have already primed my eyes and I've got my brows and mascara done. I hope that doesn't interfere with anything. But yeah, let's go. Okay, so I'm going to be taking a dark kind of plum shade. I'm going to be packing it onto the outer corner of the eye. And then I'm going to be taking some sort of like neon orangey pink shade right in the center. And into the inner corner of the eye. Just following kind of the um, crease area. Okay, and then I'm going to take a slightly darker shade and I'm going to kind of place it on the outer third of the bottom eyelid fold. Going back in with that deep shade again, like right up here. Okay, next I'm going to take a highlighting shade. I'm mixing some sort of um, highlighter with a pink shift and mixing it with a gold highlighter shade. Maybe I should wet my brush. Hmm. Thank you. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna go on to the bottom lash line with that same dark shade, dark plum shade. And then I'm going to lighten it up in the inner corner. Now I'm going to be blending that shade out with a more neutral, flesh-toned shade. I think I want the um, shimmer in the inner corner to be a bit more intense. Oh boy. So we're just gonna pack it on with a finger. There we go. I think that's much better. All right. Next, I'm going to go in with a deep red liquid lipstick. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand and then I'm going to be using it as a liner this product is considered lip safe uh, eye safe sorry consider eye safe Okay, so this is the finished look. I did use an eyeshadow as my blush as well as a eyeshadow as a highlighter. I'm not sure how much of it is visible. Um, I feel like in real life, when I look at myself, this is an appropriate amount of makeup for me. But sometimes in the camera, it looks kind of very toned down. And yeah, but I, yeah, I just prefer using the amount that looks appropriate in real life because, yeah, I'm not a celebrity or anything. <laughs> um, so that is finished look. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you find some other uses for your makeup items and play around with its versatility and yeah just get the most out of your collection so that's it for me and ciao for now